Rolling! Go, Caden! Give him a push! Well, oh, he said stop. Slow down, buddy! Where's oh, Galen? All right, girl, talk to me. Okay, we have six beans. It's four by four, and we hooked all the reds together on the bladder, which is parallel. And now say that again. Right. Say that again about being parallel. We hooked all the reds together on each side, and then they join together here, and the negative goes to the negative part of the motor, and the positive to here. So how many volts are we getting for this car? About six. Six. And so, but how many amps? Like 14 amps, yeah. Wow. We're going faster with more amps than bolts. So let's check that one out real quick. This is 192 or 94 one bolt. Hey, Mark. So there's about, uh, we did have it at 12 volts, 6.4 amps. Now we switched it, we doubled it. We have 12.8 amps and about 6 volts. So uh, it goes better and it goes forward now at a snail's pace, which is a huge improvement over before. But this wiring configuration is really kind of complicated. Okay. Great job. Anything else to add? You guys are doing a great job. Go ahead. Okay. Well, this is 37 volts. No. Panel. This is 200 and. Right. So now how do you get it wired in here, buddy? Just got it wired straight into the motors? Yeah. It's just wired straight in. There's no battery, as you can see. Um, we it's going through, is it going through the resistor block for a speed control for forward and reverse? Yes. Cool, cool. It's just right a plug-in, so the whole thing's modular, right? Uh -huh. It's on plugs. Very cool. Why did we choose the wagon? For the, uh, to hold the solar because panel. Because if the solar panel was on top of the car, um, it would make the car more heavy, right? Mm -hmm. And then it'd make the car go uh, slow. It might flip it over because yeah. it's top heavy. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks, buddy.